everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 608 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today I'm trying out this Zuri Flawless Makeup Setting Mist in the matte finish. So not too long ago I tried out this same setting spray in the semi-gloss finish and I was blown away. This is a $1 setting spray, the matte version and the semi-gloss version. The semi-gloss version reminded me of the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray and I've been using that semi-gloss finish setting spray for the past week or two since I tried it out. I even brought it with me on my traveling and I've seriously just been so happy with it. So if you want to see my review on that, I will have that video linked down below, but then I'm also so excited about this matte finish. This one has some pretty high ratings on the Shop Miss A website as well, but I love a matte setting spray because especially in the heat, my skin will get so shiny and greasy and I really do prefer a mattified look. I love to add some highlighter to have a glow, but I prefer my skin to have more of a matte finish than a dewy, shiny finish. And so I'm hoping that a spray like this will help me maintain more of a mattified look as the day goes on. I'm actually going to Dallas, Texas next week and it's going to be hot. It's like mid 90s, which for me is hot because I'm from Massachusetts. And so I think this might be my perfect spray to bring with me. It's also travel friendly because it's 2.1 fluid ounces. However, that's pretty big for a $1 setting spray. So I got this from Shop Miss A, which means it's also cruelty free. Something that I noticed though, I just took off the plastic, so this is a fresh, never used bottle. There's a lot of space in here. Like, I feel like it's only filled up to like here or so, so there's a lot of empty room. That's okay, at least it was only a dollar, but that's something I noticed when I picked it up. I'm like, was this already used? Because feels like there's a lot missing from it, <laughs> but that's okay. So I'm just gonna go right ahead and spray my face. This has a very light but nice scent to it. Nothing overpowering at all, but I also love this spray bottle. It's very soft of a mist, but a big area. So even after I go through these products, I'm gonna hold on to these spray bottles and maybe transfer some of my other setting sprays into them. Because this, this is a $1 product, but this spray bottle is one of my favorite setting spray kind of misters that I've ever tried. And then I just like to take my fan And then I take my makeup sponge and just make sure the product gets pressed in, but actually I don't even need this step. I can tell that the product is already set down and is looking fully even. Like I like to do that sponge step if there's droplets of the spray on my face and I wanna make sure to kind of blend out the little droplets, but this was such an even mist but I didn't even need that last step. And let's see. So I do have on my highlighter already. I was thinking maybe I should try this setting spray without a highlighter, but I'm really glad I still did it with the highlighter because my skin still has that glow to it. It's not looking completely mattified. So this is actually perfect complexion in my opinion, the perfect texture. So the highlighter is still just as beaming glowy as I want it to be. But then I can tell like on my forehead, on my cheeks, on my chin, the skin is looking mattified. So this is perfect. I'm so happy with how my makeup is looking right now. It's looking like skin. It doesn't look like there's any texture whatsoever. And I have on a lot of powder today as well, but this setting spray just melted that powder in with the makeup, in with my skin, 
So everything is looking so smooth and natural and just amazing. I don't think I could choose a favorite between these two setting sprays because the semi-gloss was great to add a little bit of that radiance into my skin. Then this matte finish is perfect when I already have on some highlighter, but I just want the rest of my makeup to be mattified and then just to set everything to look perfectly like skin. So this is so good. This is definitely a product that I need to stock up on. The next time I make a Shop Missy purchase, I'm probably going to buy at least two more of both the semi-gloss and the matte finish because it's exactly what I want, exactly what I need, but the fact that it's $1 is just mind-blowing. Seriously, it's perfect, but what I will do is a full wear test. So I'm going to wear my makeup for the rest of the day and we'll see how mattifying this really is on the skin. It says it can be used for touch-ups, which I will bring this with me and see if I need to touch up the skin at all. But I'm really curious to see if my forehead, my chin, my nose, if those will stay matte or at least stay matte for longer than they normally do. So be sure to check the description down below for my wear test results because I'll type them in there. But let me know in the comments down below if you've tried the setting spray and if you love it as much as I do or if you have any other recommendations for your favorite setting sprays that I should try out, let me know about those in the comments down below. And thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.